Welcome back everyone to Most Amazing Top 10 and welcome back to another time capsule video. It turns out that yes, there are actually more than 10 time capsules out there in the world. Surprise, surprise. Some of them aren't supposed to be opened until just a few years from now. Some of them are to be sealed away for thousands of more years. One thing they all have in common though is that they all have fascinating stories behind them. Let's hear the best of the best, shall we? My name is Danny Burke and this is the top 10 time capsules that must not be opened, part two. Starting off at number 10 now, we have Disneyland. Most people who visit Disneyland in California are there for the ride the shows and the fireworks. Very few of the millions of visitors are aware of the Disneyland time capsule. In 1995, cast members of the park built a time capsule to commemorate the park's 40th anniversary. The plaque reads, a time castle containing Disneyland memories, messages and milestones lies beneath this spot. The Disneyland time capsule is dedicated to the children of the 21st century who may unlock its contents on the 80th anniversary of Disneyland, July July 17th, 2035. The time capsule is buried in the center court off Main Street. It contains photos, newspapers, an Indiana Jones decoder card, whatever that is, and loads of other Disneyland memorabilia. Disney California Adventure also did the same thing in 2012, leaving the time capsule there to be opened in 2037. Moving on to number nine now, we have the Immortality Drive. This one is just too cool. I love this one. The Immortality Drive is a large memory device that was taken to the International Space Station on October 12th, 2017. 2008. It contains the digitalized DNA sequence of a select group of humans. These include Stephen Hawking, Stephen Colbert, Joe Garcia, Richard Garriott, Tracy and Laura Hickman, as well as Matt Morgan and Lance Armstrong. So why are the DNA sequences of all these random famous people there? Well, the purpose is to preserve human DNA in this time capsule in Earth's orbit in case some global cataclysm happens down here. That's right, if there was some sort of nuclear war or a zombie apocalypse that just wipes out most of humanity, scientists could theoretically use this DNA time capsule to help restart the population. Or maybe it's not even meant for the scientists, but for aliens that finally get here in a million years and all they find is the immortality drive and maybe they just make new humans from it. I think I just wrote a sci-fi movie. Coming in at number eight now, we have the General Dynamic Astronautics Time Capsule. This time capsule consists of a booklet simply titled 2063 AD. It was sealed in July 1963 and contains predictions by scientists, politicians, astronauts, and military commanders about the state of space exploration in the year 2063. The introduction to the booklet reads as follows. This archive records the predictions sealed in a time capsule during ceremonies commemorating the fifth anniversary of the dedication of the General Dynamics Astronautics Facility. The time capsule is located on the west ramp entrance of the General Dynamics Astronautics Facility at 5001 Kearney Villa Road, San Diego, California. The capsule is to be opened on July 13th, 2063. Now guys, I found this one quite interesting because we're already over the halfway point now to 2063. There's only 44 years left out of the 100. Maybe I don't know enough about space travel at the moment, but honestly, humanity doesn't seem to have done too much in terms of at least manned missions since the 1960s. Hopefully someone who knows a lot more than me can tell me I'm very wrong in the comment section below. Moving on to number seven now, we have the MLK time capsule. In 1963, Martin Luther King Jr. gave his famous I Have a Dream speech at the Western Plaza in Washington, DC. 25 years later, in 1988, Western Plaza was renamed Freedom Plaza in honor of Martin Luther King Jr. A time capsule was also buried there to commemorate the occasion. It contains an assortment of MLK's personal items, such as his Bible, a robe he wore to preach in, and even some audio recordings of some of his speeches. The time capsule is set to be opened in 2088, exactly 100 years after it was first laid down. Next up, number six now, we have FDR's time capsule. In 1940, former US President Franklin Delano Roosevelt buried a time capsule. It was buried at the University of Pennsylvania, and it's massive. It weighs over 450 pounds. That's pretty heavy for a time capsule. There must be some serious load in there, but the interesting thing is, nobody knows what's inside it. That's pretty strange. You'd think that a massive time capsule buried by an actual US president at a university will be well documented, but it's not really. 
really. The only thing we know, other than its weight, is when it can be opened. 2040, exactly 100 years after FDR laid it down. I don't know about you guys, but I'm really excited to know what's inside this. We just have to wait though. Moving on to number five now, we have Nickelodeon. Disney are the only kids company that have got in on the time capsule game. In 1992, a time capsule was buried at Nickelodeon Studios. It was later moved to a different studio in 2005, and then again in 2016. It now lies at the Nickelodeon Animation Studio, and is set to be opened in 2042, 50 years after it was first sealed. So, what's inside? Well, Nickelodeon got together with the Kids World Council, yes, that's a real thing, and they decided what was the most important things to kids at that time. These included movies such as Back to the Future and Home Alone on VHS of course, MC Hammer and Michael Jackson CDs, a Nintendo Game Boy, Rollerblades and some Reebok Pump sneakers. They also put pencils, a skateboard, a baseball and even a Twinkie in there. This is actually the second time capsule I've talked about recently where they put a Twinkie inside. What is all that about? I've heard that Twinkies do last for years if they are sealed in their packets. Is that why? Are people burying Twinkies and just sort of storing them for future generations to try? Will they like them? I guess we'll have to wait to find out. Maybe Twinkies will actually still be sold then, now I think about it. Awkward. Moving on now to the number four spot, we have Perth Observatory. This building was constructed in 1896 in order to help keep time for the whole of Western Australia. When the foundation was laid, the ceremony was attended by Sir John Forrest and a number of other notable dignitaries. They constructed a time capsule out of a lead box and placed it directly beneath a foundation stone. According to the local press, it contained Rontgen Ray's tubes, a description of the process, together with specimen photographs. These were all donated by X-ray pioneer William John Hancock. This time capsule is quite special because it's not only the first known time capsule buried in that area, but in the whole of Australia in general. At the time of recording this video, this time capsule has been underground for over 122 years and counting. There are currently no plans to open the time capsule unless the building is destroyed for some reason. The government announced in 2013 that all research programs would be cut at the observatory, but the building itself would remain open for tours. That means that for the time being, the oldest time capsule in Australia remains safely in place, with no plans to open it in the near future. Next up at the number three spot now, we have the largest axe. In 1991, a monument called the World's Largest Axe was built in New Brunswick to celebrate the legacy of Canadian lumberjacks. It's an impressive sight to see. It may very well be the largest axe in the world, but not everyone knows that there is actually a time capsule hidden in the head of the axe. The axe is 23 feet long and made of a solid 55 tons of steel. The handle goes up 50 feet into the air and the stump that the axe is buried in into is made of concrete and it's 33 feet in diameter. Mind blowing dimensions there. The time capsule is buried inside the head of this huge structure and it looks like it will remain this way unless someone attempts to destroy it. Obviously that will be horrible and good luck trying to destroy the world's biggest axe anyway. One day in the distant future it may be discovered though as long as nobody forgets where it is. Otherwise I doubt that people would just go randomly breaking open the largest axe in the world. Did I mention it was the largest axe in the world? Moving on to the number two spot now, we have the Bacardi capsule. A lot of the time, capsules that I've talked about in these videos are buried by governments or schools, that sort of thing. This is definitely the first one I've talked about that was buried by a rum company, or at least an alcohol company, specifically Bacardi. It was buried in the Bacardi headquarters in Bermuda to celebrate 150 years since Bacardi was founded. It was intended to be a sort of living snap shot of the company in 2012 and contain messages from members of lots of different levels of the company. The messages were addressed to Bacardi employees of 2062. That year will mark the 200th anniversary of the company being founded and the time capsule will then be opened up. The time capsule also contains photographs of nearly 500 Bacardi employees representing eight generations. There was also a commemorative medal honoring Bacardi rum as the world's most awarded spirit. Then there was a letter written in an ancient style of Chinese characters from their Chinese
Chinese based employees, a letter from their German employees and a decorated African gourd. These are just some of the items from all over the world that are in there. The time capsule will be opened in a further 43 years and not a moment sooner. And finally at the number 1 spot now we have Tesla. The Arch Mission Foundation is an organization with a goal to create deposits of human knowledge around the solar system. They believe that the more spread out our knowledge is, the more likely it is to survive any sort of disaster so that it can be preserved for future generations. In December 2017, the company's co-founder Novak Spivak heard that SpaceX was launching a Tesla into space. He actually tweeted at Elon Musk who agreed to put the Arch disk of human knowledge onto the Tesla. It was named the Solar Library and is thought to just remain on this Tesla car as it orbits around the sun for the next few million years. Well there you go guys, some more interesting time capsule stories for you. I had an idea for another video as I was doing this one, time capsules that will be opened in 2019. Mmm, how do you like the sound of that one? Don't get me wrong, it's cool hearing about time capsules that will be opened in the distant future, but I think it would be great to talk about time capsules that may have been underground for many years and they're going to be finally opened this year. How does that sound? Let me know. Thanks for watching as always guys. My name is Danny Burke and I will see you all in the next video.